This video is going to cover the annotation bank on Kami. So by now, you hopefully are already familiar with the idea of making annotations on Kami, specifically things like comments, whether that be voice or video or regular text comment. But you can actually save these in a bank so that if you are using comments to kind of say the same things over and over, you can actually save it in a bank and then access it much easier. So, so for example, if I have a lot of students missing the same question and I don't necessarily wanna to have to keep retyping over and over again, I can type a comment and then save it to an annotation bank. And you'll see here as I start typing that some comments are already showing up and that's because I already have some saved in my annotation bank but I'll go ahead and add this new comment. So I'm going to um, type my comment in and then I'm going to just hover over the box and you'll see how these options now become available to me. And I'm going to click here on this little file box and it's going to ask me if I want to add this comment to the annotation bank and I'm gonna click confirm. Um, you can also do this after you add a comment. So I can add a comment and then go back and add it to the annotation bank. So now you may be asking, okay, but where are these being saved? I mean, I know they show up when I'm typing, but what if I wanna access all of them? So your annotation bank is actually right up here in the top left, it's the same little file box symbol. And if we click on that, we will see all of the different annotations that we have saved and we'll see the type that it is. So you can save things that aren't just comments. You can save text boxes and things like that, um, but you can also save video comments, audio comments, um, all of that. And so the two ways you can access it is like in the example I showed where you start typing and it shows up, or you can open your annotation bank and then just drag that comment or annotation onto the document. You can also sort these um, into folders. So if you teach multiple subjects or multiple grades, or if you want to sort it by like multiple units, you do have that option of having um, different folders, and then you can just drag those different comments into that unit. You also have the option here of deleting um, things that are saved in your annotation bank or editing them. So maybe I like this comment that I saved previously and I still want to use it, but maybe now um, the directions were four parts. So now I want the comment to say four parts instead of three. You can easily go in and edit those annotations. So that was all about Cami's annotation bank. I hope that was helpful and thanks for watching.